Okay, here's a quick way I teach treading. There's a couple different strokes. This one here is just a right left scissor kick. Keep your lungs full of air. That'll help you get up there and stay float. And just kick, just like you're walking. Scissor kick left foot, scissor kick right foot. Notice that back foot is also pushing down the water behind you. So both legs have a, a play in this. Now, go into a breaststroke kick. Just play around with it. It's a way to mix it up a little bit because hips get tired after a while of doing the same old kick. Do a breaststroke kick. And then usually what I do with this breaststroke kick is I alter, start altering it, and it turns into an egg beater. So think about a breaststroke kick as an as a way to get into the egg beater kick, which is really just an alternating breaststroke kick. So I'll go slow motion here for you on the on the egg beater because this guy is doing it pretty well. This guy's a all American swimmer. The guy next to him is a swimmer also. Not a water po po polo player, but a swimmer. Like I said, search water polo treading if you really want to get good at egg beater. But this is a way to get competent at it. You're not going to be the best egg beater. But as long as you live at the end of a five-minute tread, that's a good thing. All right, so here we go. As you notice, see how their shins push down on the water? That's giving you lift. And it's really not a hard exercise to do. You know, so even when you go regular motion, it's not fast. It's not any faster than running. So... Play around with these three kicks, and the next thing you know, you have yourself an egg beater kick and an arsenal of kicks to use You know when you're treading. Because, believe me, your knees get tired of doing this damn egg beater. So you're going to want to shift it up and use your hips a little more with the scissor kick, or even go little flutter kicks too. So play around with it, and remember, treading water is not easy you got to practice it. If you go into the water thinking it's easy, you're going to be wondering why you're huffing and puffing and getting tired and panicking. So expect to have a gut check when you tread water. That's half the battle. Then practice it religiously. All right. That's Stu Smith out. Hope you enjoyed that one.